happy Thursday. Hey, zombie, welcome back. And hey, tiger, welcome back, too. So, as I was saying, yesterday started off with a new run, because we're up to uh, Alpha 18, which is version... Was it point zero point one eight or something like that? I don't remember what it is. But anyway, yesterday started a new run, and when you do, you have when you do start a new run, you've got uh, three choices of scenarios, basically, and the first two are build your own ship from scratch. Third one is you get a hand me down, which is the route we went, um, just to speed things along a little bit. And um, since yesterday's the end of yesterday's stream, I've been playing the game off stream and uh, may have been using sandbox mode or something like that to, or no, it was sandbox mode, to get, uh, speed things along a little, just because, just to move things along a little bit faster. You got stuck at the test card, well, don't do that. But anyway, so, expanded to get the ship, upgraded engines, Basically, we had gotten to the point where the regular engines that you start with are not nearly big enough to move the ship around efficiently, so we upgraded those. And even those weren't uh, good enough, so we added two more down here. We have our energy refinery now, although we learned a new little trick here that something... I don't know if this has been in there for a long while or not, but in order to make the refined hyperfuel and fuel rods... Um, that go into your engines and uh, reactor, you have to have somebody with industry level, industry skill level five or above. We have three people at level four, <laughs> so we can't produce our own little energy rods that we need, but we can always buy them if we need to. Oh, wow, we're already down to four. Oof, down to five there. I thought I boosted that up. Very, very long. Well, actually, this is the way the ship started. This is the the, the blueprint area that you get have to work with. This is the ship design. It's a it's a long design. If you build a ship from scratch with the other two scenarios, it's a big square. Basically, this is about as long as this is about as long as a square is, but it's also this wide too. So this is just a different way to or a different version of the ships um, that you can play around with, which is fine because this is a it's a different way of dealing with things. Do we have floors? No, it is all 2D. Unfortunately, it is just 2D. So, so that's the way that is. So now this is all one level. Multiple levels would be nice, but it's not. So we live with it and we get over it. So anyway, like I said, added in some engines. Um, I redid the airlocks. Well, there's only one airlock. It was this one on the left side and it was more towards the center. So what we did to fix that is we punched the wall out on the side over here because you can't, unfortunately, airlocks can't be dismantled directly. Or event, so eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, punched the wall over here, built an airlock, and then we, uh, I think we destroyed this one? Or did we move it? Might have moved it. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But anyway, once we get that one moved over here, and then we punched this wall out, moved all the cargo out of out of the cargo space, because this, this storage area was actually right here, closer to, actually, that wasn't there. So yeah, this was right here. So again, we built a new one, moved everything around, got the second airlock in, so now we have two airlocks. I like working with two airlocks, because it allows you to do things more efficiently, like when you're scavenging it, uh, salvaging a ship and also interacting with other ships that are flying around trade-wise and um, if you only have one airlock it slows things down having two speed things up it also gives us an opportunity to also run around with two shuttles if we want which we do this is the original shuttle bay and we also started with uh, two uh, pod bays which were actually over here too where this uh, or over in this area where this new airlock is so again, we cleared those out, uh, got that, added these spaces up here. This is where we're going to have, so we added uh, two pod bays here. And then we have two more extra that are unfilled at the moment. We're probably going to put fighters in there. And uh, we have a second uh, shuttle bay, again, to speed things along. Got our nice little grow area going. This is, I really like how this turned out. <laughs> more, I'm going to be honest. This was more luck than anything else. <laughs> the way this turned out. As I, I was just looking at it, is because yesterday all we had was, I think, four 
grow beds, I think, at, by the end of the screen stream. We had these four grow beds, and it was just right here. Are we a farm ship? No, this is not a farm ship. This is just to keep the people fed. This is just to feed the crew. So, because we have six crew members, and everybody's got a name from uh, somebody. Everybody is named after somebody in the chat. Or yeah, So we got uh, Captain Meerkat, who was very reluctant to be captain, but I convinced him he has no responsibility, so he's captain. That sucks for Vukulus, because Vukulus not gets the blame for everything. Then we have Doc Fenny, uh, Lieutenant Tiger, who leads our away team and engineering crew, um, who are Taco and Valisar. So, those guys. But anyway, as I was talking about this, is yesterday we left, I think we had just four grow beds. And then I, would, I expanded this out, and I was contemplating whether I wanted to switch over to the, the larger grow beds, which are these guys. It takes up, it's a four by five space, right? But it's only five growing beds in there. So it's for a space of 20 squares, basically, you only get five growing beds. I'm just trying to fit this in here like this. It doesn't really fit going this way. If we go this way, okay, we can get one there. We can probably put another one there. So maximum, we're going to get 10 growing beds in this space, basically. You know, because we can't really squeeze in anything else. I mean, no matter. And without having to go expanding up into where the shuttles are, or going down into the dining area. So I said, oh, let's use these. These are the two grow bed things. So it's these guys. It's the grow bed with a light. There's only two. All right? It's only two spaces to grow stuff. It turns out these things are way more space efficient than this five, than the bigger one. Because even though it's two, in the same amount of space, you get you know, you get four. Actually, it's even it's actually in less space you get four. Because these guys are only two by threes. So and basically, so two by threes is what, 10? No, sorry, it's six. So for 12, for 12 squares, you get uh, eight grow beds. No, sorry, four, four grow beds. So here, four, and here's four there. But then you get another four here. So for basically the same space as these guys, you actually ended up getting, I actually ended up getting uh, 10, no, 12. Yeah, it works out to be 12. Because you get three, three rows of six, right? Or two rows of six. Math is hard. So two rows of six. So basically, for less space than these bigger ones, we get more grow beds. And then it also worked out to be... I could actually condense this even farther if I really wanted to. I could... Because even though this is currently... What is it? Uh, it's seven. Seven by whatever this number is. But we could actually condense this down to six if we really wanted to, because we have a we have a row right here. Because originally it was just to get access to these, but it turns out if I flip these around, I flip either this one or these around, they can go back to back, right? And so you can cut down one of the rows, and we don't really need that middle row. I I thought I was going to need it at first because we have other uh, tools we have to put in here, like the the water. Uh, collector and the CO2 producer, but they fit quite nicely right here, and um, so we don't have to. But anyway, like I said, I could condense this one more row if I really needed the space, but I don't. Is Meerkat totally responsible for all mistakes? See, his source say no. Okay, so Ape All knows what it's talking about. See, I, I did not misinform Meerkat yesterday, but anyway, so anyway, this turned out really nice. Because we have a door down here for them to get right directly to the dining area. Uh, we have storage for the food and stuff. Um, so as soon as the food is harvested, it goes down here and it can be used for making food. And then we have a door over here to make uh, life easier and more efficient for Vukrul's and Fenny, who are our botanists and our research people. This is our research area. These are the research desks that they sit there. When they're not working in the farm, they're supposed to be sitting here. Currently, they are sleeping. So, but anyway, when they're doing the research, they just sit here and do their job. And when there's go, time to go work on the plants, they just get up, go through the door, and go do their job. So, this, this actually worked really, really well. This was not planned to work this well. <laughs> like this, 
this door wasn't here originally it was just this one but after i got everything set up i go hey i can put a door right there and they just don't have to go all the way they don't have to go this way to get in there they can just get up and go right in there so i went that just worked out really really well <laughs> i got really lucky with that and then over on the other side we have our uh, med bay now we have three uh Medical bed set up, ready to go. Storage for medical supplies and that kind of stuff, so the doctors don't have to go running for supplies. It should be all here for when they need it. And again, this is the research section. This is a research table, our workbench. This is our tools facility that we need for tools every now and then. We could actually move this up in the corner, which I probably should put there. So it's a little bit out of the way. Got that, and on the other side we have our item fabricator. Fabric, item fabric fabricator for making guns and stuff that we need or an extra oxygen tank if we want perfect design by accident it was i mean like i said i was i was just really happy with the way this turned out because it's like nice and balanced and it turns out that we're growing four of each food type except for vegetables which we're doing six because vegetables play a little bit heavier role in our food production and um, so again we have more of that so everything worked out that way too and then these are our shuttle bays. We're in pod bays. We have two mining pods and two construction pods currently. Again, these will be probably filled in with fighters. And we'll probably be expanding these a little bit more too. Once we get the uh, stuff. Because I'm thinking of moving the this shuttle area up into here. Which means we'll have to move these two. Which means we'll have to punch out the walls on each side to make room for these because we'll move one over here and move one over there and we'll have we probably have enough yeah well you will have enough room for another uh, bay or two along the sides once the shuttle gets moved up here too and why will be why would i be moving this shuttle bay isn't it fine where it is it currently it's fine but eventually we're going to need a bigger reactor i think even though this one seems to be covering covering things pretty well if we need to a bigger reactor there's no space here right now so we'd have to get rid of this Move it up there, that kind of stuff. So a little bit of remodeling, not a big deal. So we got that, and then this is our bridge, which was originally back in... Where was that? That was actually down where the research stuff was being done. This is actually where the, the, the bridge consoles were, which is operations and navigation. So we moved them up here, and then when we're done with the weapons and shields, they'll go along the sides here, be ready to go. We also added two two more point defense to cover this end of the ship more than anything else we got a nice overlap of point defense right here in the middle because they got the ship the original ship came with two point defense one by the in, one by each engine which is fine but now that we have uh, they have enough coverage between the four of them basically the whole ship is covered with the middle section being really well covered for against meteorites and that kind of stuff and what else we have uh this is the system cores. You need system cores in order to add more and more bigger parts to the ship. So now we have two system cores. This one and the other one back in the industry area. And then oxygen producer, uh, gas scrubbers in case bad things go here. Spacesuit locker again in case bad things happen. And we actually walled these guys off. These, uh, all the different... Because originally when I did the bridge, all these were in the same, in this area right here. <laughs> all this stuff was crammed in here. The only problem is I was looking at the comfort levels, just to, just for fun, and I noticed that uh, this area was not real happy. And if you hover over it, it actually tells you what's positive, what's negative. So here, there's decent light because we have two lights things right in front of or right behind each uh, module thing there. And then the, this is our, this is work comfort. So nobody really wants to work in here because it's noisy. It's negative seven because of the turrets, and up here it's negatives all over the place because of that stuff. Do you have Mechanicus Blessing for messing with the reactor? Yes. <laughs> so anyway, there's, so there's, and by, basically by, and the whole, this course, this whole area was a big fat negative because of all the negative stuff coming in here between the point defense and the machinery too. So we put everything behind walls and look, everybody's happy now. In these work areas got a nice happy work area in the med bay so the doctors shouldn't have any issues got plenty of light the grow area not such a big deal um they're not quite happy because of the co2 producer and the water collector but those are necessary in here basically to make the food more grow better 
Um, so those have to be there. So uh, the botanist will get over it. But we got a nice little area for um, the researching so they're not too unhappy. We could wall these pieces off so that they would... No, actually I can't with that door there. Yeah, we can't really wall these off as well. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. They're happy enough there. Uh, not a lot of work going on here other than when it's time to do the engine stuff, but the hyperdrives are a big negative. Again, all the stuff machinery. So anyway, walk, work areas. This is bad because, again, you're all the noisy machinery. He designed it so I'm working in the worst place. No, you're not working in the worst place. You're working in cool places. Look, you're working right there. This is, see, it's nice. It's nice and positive. It's a positive work environment, Vukrul's. This is a positive one. Some of this is a positive area along the edges, but again, this is unavoidable because of the machinery that's necessary for growing plants. So, that. Oh, look, and we got a nice little happy work area for the kitchen area. That's good. And then we have uh, two other choices. We also have uh, leisure and time and comfort. This is the leisure time area, so it's nice and positive, very positive. Why? Because they've got music, they've got light, they've got seats, they've got decorations, and they got tables. And they got food, too, which isn't listed there, but it should be. But anyway, so that's, the, that's where everybody hangs out to go relax and stuff. And then sleep area. Sleep area is positive, mainly because there's very little light and there's beds here. And now I tried added decorations that decorations don't make any difference to the sleep area because we have a, actually a plant here. I actually tried putting a TV up on the wall in the, the dining area. That little screen was actually originally in the bed area, but, um, it wasn't making a difference, so we took it down. However, in the dining area, it does make a difference, because that's actually the decorations. So, so that worked out. So that's where we are. Questions? So, what we're going to do is, as soon as our... Oh, we have uh, two schedules, or sorry, two work shifts. We got a day and a night shift. Uh, the away team works on the night shift, and uh, as soon as they wake up, we will be uh, sending them over to this derelict to go check it out, see what's over there. Who would watch TV in his bed? I do every night. Helps me go to sleep. <laughs> it helps me keep asleep t or stay asleep too. My brain needs background noise to relax me. Been like that for as long as I can remember I need and my brother's the same way the thing is is for him it's to stop him from sleepwalking <laughs> we found out <laughs> the hard way <laughs> my brother is a sleepwalker and again we found that out when uh, we stopped turning the TV off or we turned the TV off at night in our bedroom and he would start sleepwalking and he had never done it before because we had always had a TV on in our bedroom for the most part. As far as I can remember, since we were like, you know, about 12, 13 years old or so, we had a TV in a room and we left it on all the time. And one, one night, my mom decided, oh, this is ridiculous. This is a waste of electricity, blah, blah, blah. And she basically had us turn the TV off. And within a couple of months, we discovered my brother liked to sleepwalk. <laughs> it's like, what's going on there? And Eventually, we realized it was the TV that was keeping him, keeping him from st or stopping him from sleepwalking. And it's t to this day he is the same way. Because when he got married and stuff, um, his wife demanded that the TV not be on, and he told her, "I have to have the TV on. Or I'm going to start sleepwalking on you." And she said, "No, I, I can't sleep with the TV on." Well, they started turning the TV off, and it turns out that he acts out on his dreams when he sleepwalks. As I actually found out when we were teenagers too. He actually tried to kill me one night. And and uh, he did the same thing to his wife. <laughs> they, they started watching TV all the time and right after that one. So it's just like, yeah, it was pleasant. Anyway, they're up, aren't they? But like I said, I don't have a sleepwalking problem. It just helps me sleep. As far as I know, I don't sleepwalk. Mrs. Gimpy has never caught me. So again, I'm, as far as I know, I don't talk in my sleep. I don't walk in my sleep so it's no big deal 
Anyway, away team, get on the shuttle. Okay. So I've got a... Airlock back here, so we'll dock there. Oh, and we have uh, weapons. We have two assault rifles and a shotgun. I think Tiger and Valisar have the assault guns, and Taco ends up with the shotgun. So, what do we have on this ship? Anything interesting? And reminder, so... Our crew, the little blue bar that represents oxygen level. When that goes out, they need to go get some, or they fall asleep the hard way. There's four items here with money. Look at that money. And of course, the red line is their health, and the orange line is their energy level. Energy level drops down, they fall asleep temporarily. Unless, of course, somebody's chewing on them at the same time, in which case, they don't wake up. Oh, don't shoot the door. And as always, we have to explore that whole ship, eliminate our hostiles. Once we do that, the ship becomes ours to do with as we please, which is salvage more than die claim. Some ships you can claim as your own. You can rebuild them if they're damaged and use them as another ship in your little fleet. I usually just strip them down for parts. And then... This one will just be salvageable at the site. I don't think we're going to be able to claim this one. There we go. So, we have explored. Nothing hostile. I'll draft everybody. And we're going to salvage everything over here on the left-hand side. We'll expedite it. And then all the stuff, extra stuff floating around. So we got some fuel. We got our fuel rod. Ah, Hyperfueled stuff. We got some food. Some uh, tech blocks, fertilizer, a couple of corpses that we can use for various things. There. Okay, so now we get to uh, tear this thing apart. A lot of pieces. So we get a fair amount of salvage out of this, it looks like. And in the meantime, we'll speed things up. So, day shift. What's Wukul's doing? Wukul's oh, Wukul doing the botany thing. Now he's going back to research. Fanny is... Oh, Fanny's helping with the breaking down of the ship. Oh, sorry, now they have multiple pods. This will speed things up, too. And multiple airlocks, too. And shuttles. So again, more shuttles, more airlocks, just makes the things happen a little bit more quickly. And what I do need to do at some point is expand this dining room area so because we, we need to add an arcade machine at some point. So our next project is moving the shuttle bay and stuff like that. Um, actually, our next project is... Um, Our next big stuff, we're working on shields console and industry. Hey, where did our weapons console go? Oh, we want to, do, we want to get our shields done first because that, that'll help on getting some stuff done. Um, and I'm thinking, I've been kicking around the idea of whether I want to do, um, what was it, uh, solar panels. Because solar panels are basically free energy. And it'll take some of the load off of our regular reactor, right? So it won't go through power as much. The question is where we're we going to put them. Because solar panels are, I think, 2 by 2s or 3 by 3s And where we put them. Because we can't put them here. Because the engine exhaust is bad. We could probably put some... No, we're actually almost down at the bottom here, too. We probably could fit a couple of solar panels back here. If they're 3 by 3s I think they're, there might be two by twos. I'll have to double check once we get them. But anyway, if they're three by threes, we can only get two. If they're two by twos, we can get three of them back there, which would help. And then we could pl plug them in up in this area too. But I'm kind of liking the design of the ship currently. <laughs> the way it's not just a big tube. <laughs> you know, we've got some, ex you know, kind of some protrusions here and there. 
give it a little bit of character, so to speak. Um, so, you know, I don't know. We have some, you know, we have more space to work with up here, but I don't mean, I don't want to fill in every, every space. Because again, it just looks like a giant tube at that point. And we still have to put weapons on once those are developed, and we're going to probably end up putting those... We'll see, a shield generator and a at least one turret, right? For shooting stuff. Those should fit back here. Those are, I'm pretty sure, 3x3s. Three threes. So there. Can't put them here because there's no space for two of them. So you get one on each side of the engine. Or for the engine area. And here we could fit something up here if we reorganize this a little bit. We could probably put a hey, there's some turret, extra turrets or extra shield or something. And of course, we have this space to play around with here, just above the airlocks. Like I said, I want to, I really do want to expand this out a little bit more, uh, simply because. If we want to put an arcade for entertainment purposes for the crew, although we don't need it because everybody's really happy with this room, All right? So there's music. I think that's good enough. Of course, we could ditch the algae thing now that we have uh, ample food production. I think, but we have no idea how long that's going to last. And this extra space up here is going to be for the hyperspace chambers. Um, if I remember right, they're two by twos, I think, and I think there's enough for. Let's see, so that's one, two, three. So we have enough for four chambers here at least. Could probably squeeze in, depending on how you arrange them. Could go two, two. We'll probably get six in here for a while. So this is Gippy Collins, just right bear back. Okay, I'm back. So, as I was saying, so big prog projects are more going towards uh, shields, of course, and then maybe weapons. Currently researching shields as it is, so looks like we're almost done. Shields, where's the shields? Not right there. So we're almost done. We've got... Uh, 14 more points to go. We have to build a console and a shield, a small shield generator. Not a large one, a small one. We done yet? So again, almost done with the salvage and we'll move on to the next system. And I think we're supposed to be doing some type of, oh yeah, scouting a star system. <laughs> go to sector Scheffler 2. Dorado Sheffer, well, so basically, we're doing these little projects for, you know, payment of some kind, I forget what it was. So I'm getting close to being done here. Yeah, what else? Except shields, weapons would be nice. Set up some fighters too if we want. I guess we could. Just uh, gotta be careful of materials of uh, what we're using. So, food. How are we doing on food? We have 10 meals, we have fruits, vegetables. That's not food. So, we have nuts. So we just need some meat, and we can start making regular meals, too. We get taco eat. So hungry. Our 
logistics are overwhelmed because of all the scrap we're pulling in. Right? And see all the scrap here at the, the lock or the airlock there. And over here as well. <laughs> There's a little bit. So I think we're supposed to be putting all the scrap over here. There's the research for the shields done. Next is Industry 2, which allows us to do more stuff. Industry. So Industry opens up the basically the assemblers, the advanced assemblers. This is to make um, the building blocks that we use. This is soft blocks, hull blocks, and infra blocks. Those are your key basic box blocks you need to build stuff. And the advanced assembler is the more advanced stuff, which is um, tech blocks and energy blocks. So in this case, you know, get those going. Kind of important. Optomic, or sorry, optronics fabricator. That's for like circuit boards type stuff. More complicated stuff. But anyway, got to get the industry two done first. We still have to go back and do metal refinery, the microweaver for making uh, fabrics and stuff. Chemical refiner will help with um, medical supplies and other stuff like plastics and chemicals. The microweaver is basically just cloth or fabrics. And the metal refinery is for uh, steel and electronic components. So we need all of these. We just uh, get these going first. Although tells you what they need so steel plates uh, so I guess we're gonna need that before those even become a thing so you're supposed to go in order <laughs> so so even before you do the assembler so after industry two, so microweaver. I guess we should take that one off because it looks like there's yeah, there's a limited amount. So before we do the assemblers, we want to do the industry two microweaver, metal refinery or refiner, and the chemicals. Get all that stuff done. And do the other stuff. Okay, so there's uh, Fenny's and, and Cruz's jobs for a little while. There's our your point defense going off, shooting on asteroids. Are we almost done yet? That looks pretty stripped. Oh, and I also added, which I usually don't do because I forget, is actually put in windows. <laughs> into the ship so that they can stand there and stare out to the stars and go, ooh, look. Hey, Taco, welcome back. So, we got windows looking that way. We, and before I put, did the redo of this area, before we put this little protrusion out here for the for the noise-making piece of machinery, we actually had two big windows here in the front, but, you know, they get replaced when you start building onto it. But anyway, got windows on the side, two small ones looking forward, and then we've got two windows looking off to the side here. We could put some more on the sides if we wanted to, but that should be enough to keep them happy. Because there are, sometimes they're stargazers when they've got nothing to do. That's a roof. What's that? Oh, it's that thing. Hmm. Hey, Cactor, welcome back. Are we winning? I don't know. What, they don't have TV? They do, actually. They have a TV in the dining area. But the stars are much more interesting. I would think. See, there's their little TV right there above the table. Right there in the center. I think it's a TV. It could be a picture. Furniture. So furniture, 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 and there's a wall light.
Oh, that's right. That's for it's decorations. So decorations. See, decorative decorative screen. So it's just a t. It's not even a TV. It's just a picture. So that's what they get to look at. A little digital picture or stars. Only in the dining area. Why not in every area? Because we want them to actually work, Catgirl. Stop lock, watching your phone and get to work. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They can watch Tom Cruise. Why would they do that? So, asteroids. Dying. That's right. We're still waiting to skill up on stuff. There's Tiger turning our scrap into actual useful parts. Come on. Okay, I'm back. You can't land on planets. This is all about space. Who wants to have useful parts? Sounds like too much like work. What would you know about work, Catgar? Honestly, what would you know about work? Or, has, or harassing, harassing Catgar because he he when he works, his idea of working is walking around and looking at his fan his phone all day. Production speed increased by 5%, so this is research completed. Industry 2. New research. So, micro refinery, metal refinery. Let's do a metal refinery first. Then we'll do the chemical next. Not that it matters. Actually, it does. So, metal refinery, this allows us to produce metals and. No, actually, steel and electronics components. Microweaver. Fabrics. And then chemicals. Medical stuff, usually. Yes, he's looking at sharks. You're watching your phone, then you're on standby. Then I do my walks at night. I listen to audio Warhammer books. <laughs> so... We need to find out where Catgar works and then follow him around and steal everything as he passes by because he won't hear you because he's listening to somebody read a book to him. Okay, we're done. We're just salvage. Let's get out of here. He works at a museum, and how's that change anything? Sorry, the commander root rules, picking plants. Backup power. Why do we have a power problem? Oh, probably because we need power stuff. Shit. Did I screw up? We need more top power rods. We have uh, crystals, but no rods. this claimable ship oh that's the one we totally ransacked power is overrated hey smithers welcome back okay so the system that we're supposed to be scouting is this one. oh we're supposed to return hmm 
It's done. So, oh, Schaffler 2. Schaeffler 2. That's where we're supposed to go to rear for our reward. Schaeffler 2 is... There. Okay, we have no sleep changers, so everybody's taking drugs to not, you know, have problems. And this is new to this update, where you have little events that happen while you're traveling between the stars. And you're being interrupted by hostile forces. You might be able to evade this threat. Chance to evade, 89%. We shall evade. We have no weapons. Evasion successful. Passing by, military alliance, chance to interrupt 66%. Uh, no, keep on going. We don't want to cause trouble. And Doc Fanny has a travel sickness. Gonna have to take a pillow off, probably. <sighs> yes, Catcher is very productive at work. Reading, not even reading, he's just having somebody read to him. So we have to go down here for our reward. I don't know, but I get pick up some other stuff. Oh, derelict. Deploy. It's our alliance stuff. Thank you for the intelligence on the path ahead. Here's your reward. So we get uh, three hull blocks and three energy blocks. Okay. That was, I guess, not too bad for because we didn't really do anything. We are unfortunately walk, working on battery power, so we have to trade with these guys. What do they want now? Trade. So we need energy rods. Pick ten of those, and we will give them what in exchange? Actual energy. Um, seems like a fair trade. Operations console is not manned for a change. Mission available. There's nobody at our console. Con operations people, do your job. Everybody's working or awake. Oh, what's our our food's dying? Why is our f temperature? Oh shit. Oh, that's right. The meat has a different temperature requirement. It's too hot in here. I forgot about that. Shit. So the meat. Price bought in six, previous crop failed. Um, he used to tell us what uh, temperature they needed. Temperature is no, not over 30. Zero to 40, so, 40, so everybody else is happy with under 40, zero to 40, so we want to keep it under 30, so 25. Where's our temperature? There it is. Oh, here's the setting. Current is 26. St setting is 22. It's oh, it's the friggin' sun, isn't it? We need another one of these in here. We 
too close to the star. We should have enough box, we do. Okay. Damn it. And you are now talking to the military alliance. Greetings. Reveal oh sorry. We have nothing to hide, so reveal everything. Uh, nothing to hide, you're free to go. Mrs. Gimpy needs to talk to me, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so what are we doing? We are... What's up here? Bad environment temperature. So we need to get temperature control in these areas too. So that means more of these. You have to keep good temperature control and throughout the ship, otherwise stuff starts breaking down for, you know, reasons. Got temperature control there. There. This room. I don't see a temperature control. Should help. I thought he did this already. There, bedroom or whatever. There's air vent. Got two in here because this can get really warm. We don't seem to have. Oh, there's one on the wall. Temperature control doesn't seem to be an issue in this big area. Coming ship that we can hopefully trade with. So. Oh, we can temperature control back there. 
There should be one there as well. Except we have two. One there, and then we have two here. Cannot reach set temperature of build one. <laughs> What's the problem here? It's just really... Oh, because again, star side stuff, it's just so much hotter along that. So... I do believe we're done here. Oh, how are we on fuel? We got five. I think we're okay. Oh, this derelict. I have to check out this derelict, see if it's worthwhile. Or are we already stripped down, it looks like. That looks already stripped. So I'm not going to worry about that one. Let's get out of here. Watch the engines warm up. Anyway, stuff. Engines getting warmed up. So, where should we go next? Oops, incoming subspace message decoding now. We have a mission for you that is in our interest. Secure star system. Blah, 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 blah. If you are not interested, this mission will be... Uh, we'll, we will do it ourselves. This offer expires in five turns. Show the mission. Our scouts have detected hostile targets in the system. Assist us in the eliminating all hostiles and securing the star system. Yeah, I don't really have a warship yet, so I'm afraid I have to pass. I see derelicts, though. Are they derelicts? No, we already cleared those out. Hey, Gimpy, it's time though. to take a break. You say so. We have a derelict over here. Your next break is in one hour. Okay, so. So we will take care of this derelict when we get back from break. Because I need to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, go talk to Mr. Gimpy a little bit more. See what Rocket is up to. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.